Hey everyone, I'm Dave. Benjamin, still. And Today we're working on Ford, what are these called? The Ford Fusion? Fusion. Ford Fusion. Focus. Also Is known it a as... Three or three it's a three. It's so a three. it's a Focus. So Focus and or a Mazda 3, depending on where the... This one is from Japan, made in Japan. <laughs> uh, so it doesn't have any FOMOCO stamps it does, on actually. it. It has um, a lot of FOMOCO stamps. Shh, don't tell them that. <laughs> um, and we are doing front shocks because they're atrocious and front and rear brake pads. We're gonna pad slap it and rock and roll. Come along yes. for the journey. Yes. We opted for the quick struts because I don't have a spring compressor no. and that's scary to do uh, in any way without like actual proper tools for that. What he means by that is there's a little piece in the middle which is called the strut and then the spring um, this whole thing together is called a quick strut. quick strut. So you can save some money by doing it yourself if or, you have a spring clamp or do it the easy lazy way which is to pony up 50 more dollars. Today we have jack stands and just the screw jack that comes with the car. That's how we're going to lift it for now. There's some lift points. You can uh, always look those up manufacturer specs. But there's a lift point here. We're going to lift the car up using on the pinch weld which is where the outer fender attached to the body, is important to have the e-brake on. <laughs> I got it. I'm okay. We get the front tire off the ground just ever so slightly. Just ever so slightly. Not quite there. I found the battery. You can see the tire moves. It's off the ground. There's a 67% chance that's not up high enough. <laughs> we'll switch to the other side and do that, but in the meantime, while the other tire is still on the ground, let's pop this tire off. So we're doing this without any fancy tools so that you guys can see that it's doable. This is a tire iron. came with the car. <sighs> Break the all four of the lug nuts loose. Five. <laughs> Efficiency! <laughs> Efficiency! Pure. Today's show is brought to you by the letter Efficiency. Always be under the car when someone's messing with the jet. Come on. There it is. Alright, so. Cut all that. Plug nuts are all broke loose. So now I can just take them out by hand. Wait, which nuts? These lug nuts. Here we are back over on the side. We have the left front wheel removed. Um, next Benjamin what? is going to remove the brake caliper oh, from sure, Sparky. the left front brake caliper bracket. Caliper. Guys, yeah. this is the caliper. I that need is the that. caliper. And then this actually is the bracket. Technically these two the pieces heck? are separate pieces. So the, the caliper is going to separate off of the bracket. This is a spring clip that we're gonna have to remove. I'll show you a trick how to do that. What we're gonna have to do is get the key with Benjamin's oily hands. This um, is my sister's car. <laughs> we're gonna get the key. We're gonna put the key in the ignition and that way we can turn the steering wheel and show you, give you a little better angle. So it's something to know, the steering lock will actually lock uh, you, you from it. being able to turn this back and forth, which is handy at this point because we need to move things. Perfect. All right. These little black covers on the back of this kind of rubber bush here should be there. That's to keep dirt and grime out of your caliper bolt. This connector we're going to remove because at some point we're going to actually be removing the whole strut. Um, I can show you here the strut is actually leaking. There you can see the oil coming down. Um, so this connector, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there, yep. Yeah. This connector down here is for the uh, analog braking sensor. We're going to remove that out. You can get a little push down, push the button to remove it. Pops, kind of give it a wiggle, comes right out. How many Ugga Duggas on the oil drain pan bowl? Here we have some Torx bits, and they are, as you see, a star. But something that uh, is interesting between a star and a six point hex, they have the same six points. One, yep, there it is. <laughs> we have a 45 Torx that He's will work so in that. Filming. He's um, so we're gonna 
take that out using the little breaker bar that Benjamin has. Okay, lefty Lucy. So if this is going this way, it's actually going left. So it's this way. Yep. Yep. Perfect. Yep, yep. Oh, that wasn't that in that far at all. Yep. There's a spring right here. That's this little metal clip that goes up and then back down. And all you need is a flat blade screwdriver. You stick it where it goes in. Am I gonna get hit in the face? No, should not just, at all. Should I close my eyes? So I'm um, closing my eyes. I'm gonna cover it with my thumb so it doesn't move too far. You just kind of twist the screwdriver and pull it out a little bit and it comes right off. Ta-da! The, the whole bolt clears the bracket. I'm gonna slide that off. And there's your brake caliper free of the bracket. Pads come right out. Ah, this kid pops out right there, this man. This pad pops off. It's got these little clips that hold it into the piston of the brake caliper. And the piston's the thing that goes pew pew? Yeah. Pew pew pew. Put this up here for now so that it doesn't have any weight hanging on the uh, the brake line. Beam. Yep. Next step, we're gonna take off the caliper, caliper bracket, um, which is what we have left here, this guy. Um, the two bolts here in the back, we're gonna take those off. Benjamin's gonna use the big ratchet because he has plenty of uh, rotating force using it. As and long as you can get it in the hole. Maybe it, we can go. Is it done yet? Do you even lift, bro? Gun. Gun me. Okay, this so. is a bracket. Benjamin removed the rotor. Uh, this one doesn't have any fasteners that hold it on or anything, so just look for that. Sometimes I'll have like a screw or something that holds it to the hub. Uh, this one you just tap on it a few times, comes right off. It, that, this bolt pinches the knuckle around the bottom of the strut. We're gonna take that out. We're gonna remove the brake line uh, from this little bracket. We're not gonna remove the brake line completely so that we leave the brake system intact. Oh, it does say FOMOCO on it. It does. Ford Motor Company. Right there. FOMOCO. Yeah, on a Mazda. On a Mazda. So don't freak out, people. There's a lot of companies that have lots of inner species relationships. So this just pops in and out. It's got uh, you know a little notch that it slides into a, like a fork. Here, that's your sway bar and link. We're gonna have to take that off uh, off of the strut, which attaches here. Um, so we're gonna do that here in a moment, and then um, this brake line should come out with a clip. Wow. So this that clip just slides off then the brake line kind of slides down and then out. How many Ugga Duggas do you think these things are? Uh, that's probably a good fair amount of Ugga Duggas. Benjamin is breaking loose that bolt that pinches the knuckle together onto the strut. You can see the sweat forming. Alright so Benjamin uh, broke loose the uh, sway bar and link you can see the nut here and you can kind of see in the middle there it's got an allen key hole you should be able to and once you have it really broke loose you might even be able to use the gun oh the gun he says oh speed we like using power tools just like that slides right in Woo! that little vibration dampener fell off this and is a uh, vibration dampener to dampen all your vibration. Now what we're going to do first, because it's still bolted on the top, we're going to smack this, the knuckle, oh, down I'm here and see so if we can get it go I down. Do that. To uh, turn this up. This shield, if you're not a good uh, shot with a hammer. Oh, yeah. It's, it's going down. <laughs> we're going to take the lower control arm off, uh, which is this bolt down here. Whoops! Because I, was doing so I well. think the lower control arm is kind of holding us up, so we're just going to take that bolt and nut out, and then um, hit it with a hammer. It's kind of a pain to get it out that last little bit because of the axle. There it is. We're going to take the top off. Woo! Not like that. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's just these three bolts. Really simple. That was like half, half a nugga nugga. Oh! <laughs> The strut is now going to fall out, so I'm going to hold it with one hand. Take the bolt all the way out. There's your strut. Did you just do a bicep curl? <sighs> oh. <laughs> Opening the... Oh. It's even blue. That's vertical. 
these three bolts probably going in, go only go in one way. So important to note that. Line it up. Do I need help? Am I helping? Back down here, we're gonna get. This oh, this is gonna be a fight, isn't in it? There. Ah, uh, here oh. we go. Oh, there goes the finger. Ah, uh, watch your spleen. Get in there. You pry that. I'm prying it down. This is me helping right here. Oh yeah. That Much easier. That helps. Come on. What if I tap on the new shock? I don't know. Did um, that work? Let me see that. <laughs> <laughs> the fried bar. All right, so uh, literally the opposite of what we did to get it off. We just beat on the bottom of it. I took the pry bar in between oh the bottom of the knuckle and. Are your ears ringing? My ears are ringing. A few other. Things, Gosh darn it! A few other things to kind of put upward pressure on it. Um, you could technically put the wheel back on and put the weight of the vehicle back on it, but that would take us a lot of extra time. Um, at this point, and, and we uh, like hitting things with a hammer. Yeah, I can... How many Ugga Duggas on this? Like... Uh, beep! Okay, <laughs> there it is. Did you hear my torque wrench? <sighs> Tighten that down with the flashlight in your mouth. Always. Is the best way to do that. And Always. then uh, we'll put the brake shield back on and uh, the sway bar and link, brake line. We're going to put the Oh, we didn't, we didn't forget that. <laughs> line back in while we're right here. It's a good time to do that. Kind of pop it back into the little opening on the fork, like that. Line that up. Click it down into place. We have a fancy caliper compression tool. Um, you can do this with like a C clamp or all sorts of different. Uh, even a big a pair of channel locks. Once. Yep, it's a threaded piece on the plate, and then it just pushes the piston back in. Click, done. Get some grease to put on these pins, and then we'll be ready to go. Okay. Rotor. Oh, those are 17s, oh, what, baby. Did I say 14s? I meant 17. How many Ugga Duggas? Then we're going to put the brake pads in to the caliper. And we're going to clean and lube the slide pins. You're going to put that in the dot and then pull it. Yep. And then make sure you push those in so they stay in. And that that, that holds all of that. Tightens it all together, yep. Show us how we okay. put on the brake pads, Benjamin. Okay, so this one's got a clip. And what I did on the last one is I kind of used my thumb to push it in. Um, and then once I got it in just a little bit, then I just pushed. So... Let's see if it works this time. Oh, I am struggling. Here we go. This is like not so much a DIY as much as a don't don't DIY. <laughs> um, well, don't start with a D too. Oh yeah. <laughs> don't don't be sad because sad spelled backward is das. And das not good. <laughs> and then we just go click like that. And hopefully the right way. Yes. Yes. Something's happening. Yes. <sighs> That's it. Oh, oh gosh. Oh. Darn it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's sad. Okay. It's sad. Here we go. There. Hole. What did I do wrong? I don't know. Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't. You get them pushed in all the way. Yeah. And we ended up turning these rotors and not buying new ones because cheddar. Cheddar. La 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 la. It's going the wrong way. Alga Duggas, Alga Duggas, Alga Duggas, Alga Duggas, Alga Duggas. Alga Duggas. Alga Duggas.